Hello, long time no see. I am Nana. You may not know me or my students that I have with me today. We are going to have a really neat lesson. We are going to paint what we call a moment in the open ceremonies of the Winter Games. Now this is purely out of the head. So you can add to the picture or you can make it your own because remember, you are the artist. You are the ones with this, that's power. Okay, now before we get started, I want to just say one thing. This is a little bit more involved a lesson. It's a little bit, not harder, but a little bit more detailed. So just bear with it. I'm going to go slowly and we will have a wonderful time. Now, before we get started, I wanted to show you what exactly we have here to paint with. And you know the story about how we call this painting. This is a piece of plain copy paper and I have turned it vertically, vertically like this. This is a damp paper towel and it's so useful when you want to wipe off your fingers and go to a different color. Now these are the colors that, that I have chosen for today. We may not need all of these, but we probably will. There's a black, a brown, a light green, a gold, gold for the winter games, red and a white. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is start with the stadium. Now, this is basically a smiley face, kind of a halfway smiley face. All right, then right up underneath it, we have one of the tracks going around the stadium this way. If you're still gathering your supplies, it's okay. We're going to be going slowly today. All right. And I would like to remind everybody to please share a photo of your finished artwork <clears throat> right here in the comments of this video. All right, we don't have a horizon, but we do have what we call a finish line, which is wonderful for the games, okay? Now, this is the stadium, this is the top of the stadium, and this is the actual field for the games. Now, going to do this slowly. We're going to show a portion of one of the fields. This could be a soccer field. This could be a, a field where they throw the javelin. but it looks like it is permanently there. You see, this is kind of different here. I didn't make it go all the way out over here just because I am the artist and I like it looking better like this. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the lines in this. Now let's put the black down and we're going to pick up this pretty green. It's like a spring green. It'll be a good grass green. Okay, I'm going to put it down on the paper and in between
between, I am getting the green. Now you see I've picked up some black. That's perfectly all right. All right, I'm going to take my painter finger and I'm going to smooth the green in. Or you can keep going with the green and you can color it in square by square. It's up to you. If you want to get through with it, just use your painter finger and it will just turn out just fine. Now, the rest of this field is under this dividing line or where the seating is. So, we're going to now work a little bit more on the stadium. Now, over here, let's see, we've got to have another line that defines the track. This is a wall to keep people from falling out of the stands. So there's the top of the stadium, the stadium itself, and a wall for safety. Okay, now we're going to take our gold and we're going to put in some sand. They, they prefer this sand-like surface to run on or to bicycle on. I don't know if they would bicycle in this stadium or not. This is probably basically a uh, stadium where they, they run and throw things. Now, <clears throat> the sun is going to be shining from this side, from the right side, because this is later in the day. This is a terracotta cotta kind of brown. And I'm going to use this to show that the crowd here is in the background. Now, I did not go all the way to the top. You see, it's almost like a little sandwich. You can go to the top if you prefer. All right, now, I know this is hard to follow, but it's okay. We're going slow enough, and you can watch this video again afterwards and get all of the instructions then. I've turned this black on its side and this is the underside of the stadium where it is really in the dark. See, we've got a little bit of sun here and the dark overhang of the stadium. If any of you have been to some sports arenas or stadiums around where you live, you know that, that a lot of the area is covered by the roof, so there won't be that much sunshine there. Now, if you want to, if you feel like it, I just as soon leave it like it is, but you can put an Olympic sort of looking fence at the top. And it's just like X's and straight lines, and X's, straight lines. Just the, whatever you prefer. There. Now, I 
think that we need to put some sky in here. And you know what? I forgot to get the sky color. So I am going to take this kind of medium blue and I'm going to put it down on this side. And I'm going to fill in the sky. Because this is a beautiful day in South Korea. Now, look, you can make your own clouds. Use your imagination. You can leave a spot right in the middle and make your own cloud. Take your painter finger and fill it in. Make it nice and smooth. See how that cloud worked out? You can actually even put another one in your finger if you like. Okay, now we've got a stadium. We got the stands. We need to put some people in. Let's start with this crowd over here in the very back. I'm going to take a black and I'm going to make some dots. These are people's heads. Now, I don't want it to look like there is an outbreak of chicken pox over here not too many heads and I bet there'll be some people wearing red and maybe some blue this is just a lot of fun detail work you can even put some green in if you like. Not too many. Don't over decorate because this is not the show. We haven't even gotten to the main attraction yet. Okay? Now, we're going to go ahead and do the, the main figure, the Olympic figure. All right? Now, we're going to go slowly. And you will do just fine because I know you are all fine artists. I'm going to start with, this is a young, oh, I would, I would say he's probably a runner. And here's his head and an ear. my concept book, I had him have a little bit of a hairdo here. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and color in his head so we'll know exactly where he starts. Take my finger. Let's get some shoulders. We're going to go on the left hand side. And he has his hand down at his side. All right. Now, patience. Patience. This is the beginning of a shoulder. There's a muscle. Remember, he's an athlete. And here's another muscle. So it looks like kind of like a bird flying. Then we're going to come underneath. And we're going to get his upraised hand. His hand goes up. He's going to be holding the, the torch. Remember, 
pastels are forgiving. And I'm going to fill in his arm. Now, this young man is facing the light. So he is in shadow, which is really good because you don't have to do a face or eyebrows or a nose or any of that. And he's pretty straight. He's a young guy. So he's kind of straight on. <coughs> I'll wait a second so you can catch up. And see, we're drawing him right over the field. We are painting him in. And I have the black turned on the side. And there he is, right over the field. Nice, messy painter finger. I'm going to fill this in and make it nice and smooth. I cannot wait to see what you have drawn. Now, I'm going to give him two legs here. That's in shadow. And like I said, we have a very forgiving pastels. We have the figure in. Now, we're going to put the torch right in his hand. And here we go. Make it a little bit rounded at the top. All right. Now, I like it where it looks like it's almost silver. But you may want to go ahead and put a little bit of gold in there. That's up to you. Well, we've got a torch. We've got a runner who's going to be running down the field in just a minute. So, we've got to light the torch. Okay. Let's get a flame going. Now, I prefer a red flame to start off with. And you can make it look the way you prefer it to look. You can even put some blue in there to show that it's really hot. And maybe a little bit of yellow. I think that's great. All right. Let's finish this up. Now. This is the dividing line here. This is the wall of this stadium where this young man is standing. I want you to put your black down and then very lightly, this is supposed to look like concrete, very lightly, very lightly. Let's get this wall right behind him. Okay. See, 
see how it looks like concrete? Wow, you've done a great job. Now, this is where you can kind of have fun because you've got to put some people sitting here in the stadium right here, right here beside him because he's up at the top of the stadium and he's going to run down one of the aisles all the way to the bottom down here. So, let's put some heads. There's a head there. And a head here. And a head here. And we're going to put hands up. Hooray! Hands. Hooray! And let's put one here. There's a thumbs up. Over here, gotta have some hooray hands here. Because everybody is excited about this runner coming down here. And then I wanted to remind everybody that our Winter Games video art lessons are 20% off at chalkpastel.com this week. And I'll also share a link in the comments to a Groundhog Day video that you'll enjoy because Groundhog Day is coming up very soon. Yeah, I think that's a lot of crowd excitement there. The last, one of the last things we're going to do is we're going to make some camera flashes. These can be flashes you can imagine from your phone or from uh, reporters who have used their cam their real cameras, you might want to get a white that is better than mine. It's almost like a star. Um, there. And I would say we're through. I think the races are about to begin. Take your favorite color, this, and write your name here in the corner. Then take your painting, turn it over and name it Opening Ceremonies or uh, Winter Games Begin and Today's Date. And then go and hang this up in a place of real honor at your home and tell everybody what this is a picture of. They'll be able to tell right away who it is and what's going on. You've done a great job. You really have. Very proud of you. I'm glad you joined us today. Remember, you are an artist.